Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 11.2, Triangles. Our essential question is how can you classify triangles? Please turn in your Go Math book to Lesson 11.2. Now, when you classify a triangle, you're going to give it two names. The first name is going to be either isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. And the second name would either be acute, obtuse, or right. So think of it like you. You have a first name and a last name. So with triangles, the first name is all about the length of the sides. The second name is all about the type of angles. Take a look at this example right here for number one. As you can see, the type of sides shows that it's a scaling because there are three different lengths. And if you look at the type of angle that it has, I see one right angle right here, then it is automatically called a right triangle. So we would call this a right scaling triangle. So let's take a look at this chart right here. Look right here, you can see that an equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. Remember, congruent means all the sides are the same length. Now with an isosceles triangle, you're going to have two congruent sides. Look right here in this example, this isosceles triangle has two sides that are three inches long and only one side that's two inches long. So an isosceles has two sides that are the same length, and they're congruent. Now at the bottom down here, a scalene triangle has no congruent sides. In this example, we have a 3 inch, 4 inch, and 5 inch. I like to think of equilateral. See the word equal inside of it? That means equilateral. I like to think of isosceles, how you have two S's for two sides that are the same. And of course, scaling means all different length sides. Now let's talk about the angles of a triangle. A right triangle always has one right angle. An acute triangle will have all three acute angles, and an obtuse triangle only has one obtuse angle. So let's take a look at question number two. If we classify this triangle, we need to write isosceles, scaling, or equilateral, and then write acute, obtuse, or right. Go ahead and press pause now and write your answer. All right, for number two, you should have said that it was an obtuse isosceles triangle because it has one obtuse angle and two sides were congruent. What do you think about question three? Go ahead and press pause now and write what you think it is. Alright, for this triangle, you should have said that it was an acute isosceles triangle because it has all acute angles and two sides were congruent. Alright, how do you feel about question number four? Think about the different terms I taught you and go ahead and push pause and I want you to write what you think it is. Alright, for question number four, you should have said that it's a right scaling triangle because it has one right angle and all three sides are different lengths. All right, let's take a look at question number five now. For number five, it says a triangle has sides with the lengths and angles measured given. Classify each triangle. Please write scaling isosceles or equilateral, then write acute, obtuse, or right. Please pay attention to these dimensions and then write what you think it is. Press pause now. All right, because if you look right here, you can see that it has three different sides. You should say that it's a scaling triangle. And because the angles have three different sizes, one's a 30 degrees, which is acute, one's 40 degrees, which is acute, but there's one that's 110 degrees, this right away tells me it has to be an obtuse triangle. So this would be a scalene obtuse, also known as an obtuse scalene. All right, pay attention to the dimensions you see for question number six, and I want you to write what you think the type of triangle that this one would be. All right, because all of my sides are different lengths, this would have to be a scaling triangle. And because all of my angles are acute, which means they're all less than 90 degrees, this is an acute triangle as well. So we would call this scaling acute or acute scaling. 
Let's take a look at question seven. It says, Mary says the pen for her horse is in a cute right triangle. Is this possible? Explain why. Go ahead and press pause to write your answer down, and then we'll check it together. For this answer, you should have said that it is not possible, because remember, a triangle can only either be acute, obtuse, or right. It can't be acute and right at the same time. Remember, all right triangles have a right angle, and the other two are acute. So we would only call this a right triangle, not an acute right triangle. For question number eight, it says, Karen says that every equilateral triangle is acute. Is this true? Explain why. Go ahead and pause your video, and I want you to explain what you think. Go ahead and press pause now. All right, I went ahead and put an equilateral triangle here for you to see. Now, an equilateral triangle means that all of the sides are the same length. For it to be equilateral, they can always be acute. They're never right or they're never obtuse. So we have to agree with Karen and she is correct. All right, so here are your two homework questions for tonight for number one and two. Work them out carefully, pick your right choices, and please do questions three through six for review. Don't forget to assess yourself at the top of your page so you can tell me how you feel. Are you a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or the expert? We'll check these problems tomorrow in class, so please be ready, and I can't wait to practice more with you. Have a great night.